And I think a lot of that has to do with the, 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 the void, the vacuum, the purposelessness, the anxiety, the angst that once was with older people is now with this younger generation. And I think it's created a tremendous opportunity for the gospel. And it's challenging uh, to get there. You can't just walk into the public school and start preaching the gospel. So Josh and a team of others, they go out on the Worldwide Plaza uh, where thousands of young people are uh, literally every day uh, unloading multiple high schools, middle schools are there. They're hanging out. They're fighting. They're doing drug deals, all that. And Josh and his team, they just walk out there. They befriend them. And then every Friday afternoon at our, our church building at 414 West 51st, yep. they pile 414 in there. 414 West 51st is a youth meeting. Exactly. Yeah. And those are... Th that 7 o'clock? It's, no, it's every Friday from 2 to 6.30. 2 to 6.30. Yeah, and we, uh, we don't hold back on the invitations. In fact, some of my kids, they're, they're the best ones bringing them in, and, uh, and they'll do whatever it takes, including lie. They, <laughs> one, one, of, one, of our guys, one of our guys came expecting a sex party, and he shows up. Now, you guys didn't tell him that. We no. didn't tell him that. That was, no. that was some of our kids. We, we didn't even to... coach him in that. <laughs> we have to do it. Let's do a This disclaimer. is a family show. The TVN uh, censors may uh, edit that one out. But, Josh, just as we, we're about to wrap up this segment, wh what do you say to somebody who, who is desperately insecure? In other words, uh, it's hard for me to relate to, to, to being a model. Uh, you know, that wasn't exactly my great challenge in life of anybody asking me mo to model anything. But, obviously, when you're in any industry, there's insecurity. But it's, it would seem as if that industry would be a heightened sense of insecurity. Is that true? And if it is, then talk to whoever's watching about whatever insecurity they're facing yeah. mm -hmm. and the real answer to that, the real thing that will give them the peace and give them the security. Yeah. Here, here's what I had to, to do real fast. Because in, in modeling, the way you get your work, you, you go to a, uh, a country that's a fashion capital, and then all day long you're going on castings. And it's someone who they're looking at all of your pictures, they're looking at you, and they're saying whether, yes or no. That, that's basically it. And you're not going to hear it straight from them. You're not going to hear it unless they, they do want you. And if you allow it to really be about you, then you're going to be questioning, what is it? Why, why was I not good enough? You know, what was it about me? And so I had to, to really quick understand that, that, first of all, that was just a, uh, a marketing aspect. But then, uh, aside from that, it was more the success. And I had to understand my identity outside of modeling. Because the way God works is he's, he's given us all unique gifts and abilities. And what happens a lot of times when we get into where we, we think we want to be, where we say, God, thanks so much for the blessing. I'll take it from here. <laughs> and that's totally the wrong approach. Because God, he's, he's not just big enough to get you there. He's, he's big enough to take you everywhere that, that you need to be. And in New York, we see so many people that are in the, the creative entertainment fields where, where you can, uh, it's just so easy to compromise. And, and that's the thing. God will he'll bless you to take you someplace. Count on his blessing to, to sustain you, to keep you going. Don't, it, that, that's, that's what I would really want to tell people. Don't, don't ever try to take it in your own hands no matter what industry, no matter what field, mm -hmm. just, just really entrust that to God. Josh, um, I want you, if you will, to look into this camera, and I want you to talk to young people in the next just few minutes and then pray. Just, just maybe you, just what you just said is maybe you can add just a little bit, but then pray for young people because moms and dads, grandmothers, uh, especially in holiday season, a lot of things begin to come out. You know, you're never around. People are on their, they've got their, their earphones in, they're plugged in something, and now all of a sudden you have to face a family or talk to them, yeah. and there's not much there. Hostility is there. Uh, I know from my family, when Jesus came into my life, it was in the holiday season that when I came home and kind of made my announcement, that was the beginning of a breakthrough years ago for me. So pray for young people. Talk to them, maybe anything else on your heart, and then we're going to pray that God will touch young people all over the world to think maybe if this is what I could be, then I'd be happy. And you get there, it's not anything what you imagined. Yeah. But Christ is the answer. So would you yeah, absolutely. pray? Yeah, I, I just want to let you know, uh, I mean, I don't know you. And uh, chances are, though, if, if you're anything like, like what I went through or the kids that, that I'm meeting with, uh, there's, there's a, a big hole that you're experiencing on a daily basis. And, and chances are, you might know a lot of people, but no matter what you're doing in life, there's nothing filling that void. And I want you to know that Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And so you don't have to be alone today. You don't have to go through, through this season or, or any other day in your life with that feeling of emptiness, with that feeling of hopelessness. 
And I'm going to pray right now uh, for you. And, and if, if wherever you are, if you want to pray along with me, then, then Jesus will he'll come into your life. He's the one that will change everything. I know that you've tried. Maybe, maybe you think you've tried it all. But, but Jesus is the one thing who, who will change it all. So let me pray with you right now. Father God, we love you so much. And, and I'm so grateful, Lord, that, that you have taken me out of the kingdom of darkness and placed me into the kingdom of light. And I know that there are so many out there right now that you want to remove from the, all that darkness. You want to remove from the, the hopelessness, the brokenness. You want to, to bring healing to where all those lies have taken hold. And Father, I pray right now that, that you would pour out your spirit on the lives of those who are watching right now. Father, show them that, that you are the way and the truth and the life. Lord, and, and if, if they will just believe, if they will just believe on you, Lord, that they can have new life. They can have new hope. And Father, we, we trust you for this. We believe you for this. And I ask you to, to pour out your spirit right now and change the hearts of all those who are watching. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Your wife. My wife. Beautiful wife. Amanda. You, you, got, you got to talk about your wife now. I, I've, I've been married two months now. I have a, a gorgeous wife. She's in the Miami City Ballet. We, we have a long distance marriage, which uh, we're, we're pioneering the movement. Who's with me? No. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's just fantastic. And she loves the kids as well. They love her. They're always, uh, they're always sending their love back and forth. But uh, yeah, she's, she's watching now. I love you, honey. All right. All right. Very nice.